Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel Immutable Wisdom. Have you ever been trapped in a loop of overthinking where your mind keeps playing the same worries over and over? It can feel like a hamster wheel you just can't step off of. But what if I told you that you have the power to take control and stop that cycle? Today, we're diving into 10 stoic principles that will help you break free from overthinking and regain your peace of mind. So stick around, because by the end of this video, you'll have the tools to let go of those never-ending thoughts and focus on what truly matters. Overthinking is something that almost everyone struggles with at some point. Whether it's a tough decision you're agonizing over or the nagging thoughts that keep you awake at night, it can be mentally exhausting. The ancient Stoic philosophy offers timeless wisdom that's still incredibly relevant today. Stoicism teaches us how to focus on the things we can control and let go of everything else, giving us a powerful antidote to the constant overthinking many of us deal with. Let's get into 10 Stoic ways to stop overthinking and start living a calmer, more intentional life. Focus on what you can control. The core principle of Stoicism revolves around understanding what is within our control and what is not. When we overthink, it's often because we're trying to control outcomes that are beyond our reach. Whether it's worrying about how people will perceive us or trying to predict every possible future scenario, it's a waste of mental energy. The Stoics taught that the only things we truly control are our own thoughts, emotions, and actions. The next time you catch yourself spiraling into overthinking, pause for a moment and ask yourself, is this within my control? If the answer is no, consciously decide to let it go. Focus instead on how you can respond to the situation. This shift in mindset is a small but powerful practice that can give you back your mental clarity. Consider the example of job interviews, Many people overthink the outcome of an interview long after it's over. Did I say the right things? Will they call me back? What if they don't like me? But none of this is within your control. What is in your control is how well you are prepared for the interview and how you present yourself. Once it's done, accept that you've done your best and the rest is beyond you. Number two, negative visualization. One of the most misunderstood Stoic practices is negative visualization. This involves imagining the worst case scenario in any situation. But rather than making you anxious, this exercise helps you become mentally prepared for challenges. And often you realize that the worst case scenario isn't as bad as you thought. Spend a few minutes each day practicing negative visualization. Ask yourself, what's the worst that could happen? and think it through. By confronting these fears, you might find that they lose their grip on your mind. Most of the time, our worst fears aren't as catastrophic as we make them out to be in our heads. A great example of negative visualization at work is in public speaking. Many people fear public speaking because they overthink what could go wrong. What if I forget my lines? What if people laugh at me? But if you practice visualizing these scenarios, you'll realize that even if the worst happens, you'll survive. People might forget and life will move on. This takes away some of the anxiety that fuels overthinking. Live in accordance with nature. The Stoics believed that living in accordance with nature meant accepting things as they are rather than fighting against them. Overthinking often happens when we resist reality when we try to change something that cannot be changed, or when we worry about things that haven't even happened yet. When you feel overwhelmed by thoughts, remind yourself that nature is indifferent to our worries. What will happen will happen, regardless of how much mental energy we spend trying to control it. Focus on aligning yourself with what is, rather than what you wish could be. Imagine you're waiting for an important email, You've done everything on your end, but the outcome is out of your hands. Instead of overthinking the result, let nature take its course. Accept that whatever happens will happen in its own time and worrying won't change it. Number four, practice mindfulness through meditation. 
The Stoics were big advocates of reflection and meditation, not in the religious sense, but in a practical one. They believed that taking time to reflect on your thoughts and actions would help you lead a better, more intentional life. When we overthink, we are rarely present in the moment, but Stoic meditation practices can help ground us and bring us back to the present. Start with a simple meditation practice. Set aside 10 minutes a day to sit in silence and focus on your breath. Each time you notice your mind wandering or overthinking, gently bring it back to your breath. This practice not only calms your mind, but also trains you to notice when you're getting caught in the trap of overthinking. Many successful entrepreneurs practice mindfulness meditation to keep overthinking at bay. When faced with high-stakes decisions, they clear their minds through meditation, enabling them to make decisions from a place of calm rather than anxiety. Number five, the dichotomy of control. This concept is closely related to focusing on what you can control, but it deserves its own spotlight. The dichotomy of control teaches us to separate things into two categories, what we can control and what we cannot. The Stoics believe that the path to peace lies in accepting this distinction fully. When you're overwhelmed by decisions or thoughts, mentally divide the situation into what's within your power and what isn't. If it's in your power, act. If it's not, let it go. This habit will help you create a mental boundary that protects you from unnecessary stress. Let's say you're organizing an event and are worried about the turnout. You can control the marketing, planning and logistics, but you can't control how many people actually show up. Focus on doing your best with what's within your realm of control and leave the rest up to fate. Number six, the art of letting go. A huge source of overthinking is our inability to let go of things, whether it's past mistakes, what others think of us, or outcomes we cannot control. Stoicism teaches the importance of acceptance and detachment. By letting go of things beyond our control, we free ourselves from the mental burden they create. Practice the art of letting go by identifying one thing each day that is causing you unnecessary stress. Ask yourself, is this something I need to hold on to? If not, make a conscious effort to release it. This might take time and practice, but over time, you'll notice a significant reduction in your overthinking. Think about someone who constantly worries about others' opinions. They might replay conversations in their head, wondering if they said the wrong thing or made a bad impression. The stoic way is to let go of what others think because we can't control their reactions. Instead, focus on living according to your own values and let the rest go. Number seven, journaling, a stoic habit. The Stoics, including Marcus Aurelius, were big advocates of journaling as a way to process thoughts and clear the mind. Overthinking often happens when our thoughts feel chaotic and tangled. Writing them down can bring clarity and perspective. Start a daily journaling practice. It doesn't have to be complicated, just a few minutes each day to write down what's on your mind. This will not only help you organize your thoughts, but also create a sense of relief as you release them onto paper. Over time, this habit can significantly reduce your tendency to overthink. Many successful people today use journaling as a mental tool. Tim Ferriss, for instance, recommends morning pages, where you write out whatever is on your mind first thing in the morning. This practice clears your mental slate making space for focus and creativity throughout the day. Number eight, embrace uncertainty. Overthinking often stems from our fear of uncertainty. We want to know exactly what will happen, and when we can't, our minds spin endlessly trying to predict every possible outcome. Stoicism, however, teaches that uncertainty is a natural part of life, and we must learn to accept it. The next time you're faced with uncertainty, Remind yourself that life is inherently unpredictable. Instead of fighting this, lean into it. Tell yourself that uncertainty is part of the adventure of life and trust that you have the strength to handle whatever comes your way. Athletes, especially those in extreme sports, must embrace uncertainty every time they compete. They cannot control the weather, 
their opponents or even their own performance to a certain extent. Instead, they focus on their preparation and embrace the uncertainty of the outcome, knowing they've done all they can. Number nine, the practice of voluntary discomfort. This might sound counterintuitive, but the Stoics believe that by practicing discomfort voluntarily, we can strengthen our minds and reduce our anxieties. Overthinking often happens because we want to avoid discomfort or pain, but Stoicism teaches that discomfort is a natural part of life, and it's better to face it head on. Choose one small discomfort to face each week. This could be taking a cold shower, fasting for a day, or confronting a difficult conversation. By practicing these voluntary discomforts, you'll find that many of the things you overthink aren't as daunting as they seem. Many people in the modern world practice intermittent fasting or cold exposure as a way to build mental resilience. By voluntarily enduring discomfort, they become less anxious about the inevitable discomforts life throws their way, reducing their tendency to overthink in challenging situations. Number 10. Take action over thoughts. One of the best remedies for overthinking is action. The Stoics were all about action. They believed that rather than getting stuck in an endless loop of thinking, we should take meaningful steps toward our goals. Overthinking often paralyzes us, making us hesitate to move forward. The key is to shift from thinking to doing. When you catch yourself overthinking, force yourself to take one small action toward resolving the situation. Even a small step, like sending an email, making a phone call, or starting a task, can break the cycle of overthinking and propel you into action. Entrepreneurs often face paralysis by analysis, where they overthink every business decision. But the most successful entrepreneurs are those who take action despite uncertainty. They make a decision, act on it, and adjust as they go. This approach not only reduces overthinking, but also leads to progress and growth. There you have it, 10 powerful stoic principles to help you stop overthinking and regain your peace of mind. These strategies aren't just theoretical. They can truly transform the way you think, act and respond to life's challenges. Whether it's focusing on what you can control, practicing negative visualization or journaling your thoughts, each of these principles gives you a practical way to break free from the cycle of overthinking. Thanks for watching. If any of these stoic practices resonated with you, drop a comment below. Let's keep the conversation going. If you found value in this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more content on stoicism and mastering the mind. Remember, overthinking is not your master. You have the power to take control. See you in the next video.